Together we'll get through this. That's the message Rochester City leaders want community members to hear today. They also gathered today for a united message about how residents can help ease the burden on frontline workers. Our Barrett Leone joins us live with what exactly they want done. Barrett. Yeah, good evening, Caitlin. Right now we are in the most significant surge of COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations our area has seen to date. Now, health officials tell us that they've been preparing for this moment, but they need everyone's help to get through it. You've heard it before. We've entered a new phase of the pandemic. A new phase with a new record-breaking surge of coronavirus cases. We did experience a small surge, but nothing near to what we're experiencing right now. But it's causing strain to our community well beyond the health department. Friday, Rochester leaders urged the public to help our first and only defense against the virus. Our health care workers are really the true heroes, I think, during this pandemic. While it's something health leaders prepared for earlier this year. We did spend most of the spring and summer preparing for this moment. Actively ready to um, put in our contingency plans. They're also asking for community members to do their parts. And it's our community that can help protect them. You can help us be this first line of defense by following the new executive orders from the governor and continuing to Wear a mask like Mayor Norton just showed everybody. Avoid bringing people together outside your immediate household. Uh, physically distance yourself from others and stay home and away from other people if you get sick. To lighten the load. As we continue to see this surge in COVID-19 cases, physical and emotional toll, we know it's going to continue. Not just for medical staff and for patients, but for everybody in the community. Um, all of us, healthcare workers and members of the community, we're exhausted, we're tired and carry it together. We all stand together in uh, fighting the pandemic and doing um, the very best things we can for our community. We have to remember that we're all in this together. It's a community effort. And if we can all practice these safe behaviors, encourage others to do it, we're gonna help slow that spread. Now, at this point, both Mayo Clinic and Olmstead Medical Center say that they do still have beds available. And if those beds do run out, they do have contingency plans in place. Reporting live in Rochester, Barrett Leone, KTTC News.